Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com, where we are all about showing you how to develop on the NVIDIA Jetson Developer Kits. Today, we are going to show you how to run the demos that are included on your Jetson. Let's set up our desktop. Let's turn on our webcam. We will run the Cheese application. There I am. Hello. Let's open up a terminal. We can right click on the desktop. Open terminal. When you first start up your Jetson, one of the first things that you want to explore are the demos that are installed on the system. Let's see what this baby can do. There are two sets of demos. The first set is the CUDA samples. Let's switch over to that directory. Let's switch to the samples directory. There's quite a few samples. This is all sample code. As you can see, the samples fall into seven categories. The samples include all of the source code, most of which is written in C++. There's quite a few samples. There's probably 50 to 100, somewhere in there. Let's copy the samples over to the home directory. There's a convenient script to copy the samples. And let's copy it over to the home directory, which is the tilde. And let's go home now. And you can see the directory here. Let's open up a file browser. And let's open up the system monitor. That will tell us how busy the CPU is. Let's build our samples. There's a make file in here. All we have to do is type make. Ah, we're back. Okay, we're finished compiling our samples. Let's take a look over here. They're in the bin directory, artsy4, Linux, release. And here they all are. Uh, that's not very useful. <laughs> Let's take a look at them in a different manner. Most of the samples are named after the directory that they are in. Let's go into the simulations directory. These are the demos that I usually run. Here's the popular Ocean FFT. Let's run that one. And you run it by dot slash Ocean FFT. There it is. You can zoom in and out with the right click on the mouse and moving it. Rotate it, click drag. That's a pretty cool demo. You can enlarge the window here. It's pretty mellow. Another popular demo is the smoke particles. Smoke particles. Click drag to rotate. Right click brings up a context menu. That's kind of fun. Another one that I've used is the end body test. Kind of looks like fireworks. Let's take a look at particles.
Right click brings up the context menu, reset. That's fun looking. There's all sorts of things you can do with this demo. Let's go up a directory. There are a whole bunch of demos here. Explore them. Have fun. The second set of demos is VisionWorks samples. There are three sets. You may have encountered the first one when you opened up your home directory. It is this SFM sample. Bin Arch 64 Linux release. You can see here that we're doing the SF endpoint cloud. That's the first one that you usually encounter. The next set are a little bit more buried. Let's close this. We have three sets of vision work samples. The VisionWorks SFM, which we've already seen, uh, VisionWorks, and VisionWorks Tracking. Let's go take a look at VisionWorks. There's a convenient script located here to copy the files. Let's put it into our home directory. See, they showed up. Let's switch over to that directory. And make. Ah, see if I can get better at these slide ins. Let's see, let's open up our bin. Let's switch over to our bin directory. Let's try out the feature tracker. using a Harris detector. We're driving down what looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. That's kind of fun. Let's try something else. Oh, one of my favorite, Huff Transforms. We hit M to switch the source and edges. We use Huff Transforms to try to figure out where the edges are in an image. Let's see what else there is. Let's try the video stabilizer. Oh, this one looks fun. It takes the image and then tries to remove the shake from the camera. That's pretty impressive. Let's try the object tracker.
It looks like it tries to figure out the object that you've outlined by this rectangle. That's kind of fun. What else you got? <laughs> Any one of these things is totally amazing. And then you kind of say, well, what's the next one? Let's see, motion estimation. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I like this one because it has doggies. See the doggy? It basically detects an object and tries to tell you which direction it's moving. Let's open up another terminal. The third set is this VisionWorks tracking. This is included in the VisionWorks samples that we looked at earlier. So that gives you an idea of how to run the samples. They're kind of squirreled away, a little bit hard to find. But once you get them up and running, they're well worth exploring. And it's great to exploit the code. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We're out of here. Feel like a scolding mother. Subscribe, young man. Yeah.